guys, so you saw that little video clip, uh, clip real quick of me in the parking lot. I guess that wasn't the best place, like I said, to, uh, to do that video since the little cop pulled out. Now I knew the I knew the little police office was right there and all that, and I know that there's a camera out there, but I was expecting that I could just, you know, be in and out of there pretty quick that maybe they wouldn't notice. That's why I wasn't going too hard or anything. Wasn't trying to make a lot of tire noise or anything like that. So just kind of trying to, uh, you know, just get a quick comparison without going too crazy. So next weekend is autocross. So that's why I've been getting all this stuff kind of going. Um, I'm thinking normally I would be in the DS class, but this time I'm probably just going to enter into a uh, street modified since I've done, you know, a little bit of suspension mods and I have a little bit of uh, engine mods now too. And a lot of the local, the other local Subaru guys are usually in the uh, street modified class. Now their cars are probably a little bit more modified than mine. Like they may be on coilovers or a stickier compound of tire. So, I mean, I'm expecting to, you know, hopefully place mid-pack or something like that. You know, I don't expect to, to win the thing or anything, but it should be uh, pretty fun. Because in the other classes too, I've only had, you know, I've only had a couple other people in my class. So being in the street modified class, I think it'll be, it'll be kind of fun. And I can just be grouped together with all of them. So, yeah, so that video will be coming up soon. Like I said, that's next Saturday and Sunday. That's going to be at Mather Field Air Force Base. So I'm going to be doing that one. That's out in, uh, in Sacramento uh, area. So, yep, I'm going to be doing that. It's going to be the first autocross of the year for the Sacramento region. Um, and probably I may go out to the Stockton uh, area, the Stockton, what's it called, Stanislaw, Stanislaus Fairgrounds, and uh, do the autocross out there. That's with the Porsche Club. And I'm hoping to do the autocross out at Crow's Landing as well. That one's kind of more out in the Bay Area, but that's a big Air Force bit or a big airstrip. And I guess you get to go a lot faster. It's kind of more of a high speed autocross between cones, like a lot of, uh, you know, quick movements where you may actually get into third gear, you know, out there. So you may be going over, you know, over 60 miles an hour. So that should be pretty fun. But, uh, yeah, overall, I'm loving the sway bars for day-to-day -day driving. Um, I think right now I just have the rear sway bar. It's just tuned to the uh, the middle setting, which I think is just, you know, the 24 millimeter. Um, the other setting would be like 24.5, and the other one would be 23.5. So it's right in the middle. I may harden it up. The reason I didn't go to full hard right away, which I know sounds weird, but anyways, the reason I didn't go to the full hard setting uh, was because... You know, I heard that the, the back wheels can kind of lift off the ground. You can kind of get that tripod effect. So, go full hard, you go tripod. Makes sense, right? All right, so anyways, and then the front I have set to soft. And like, again, that is the 22 millimeter white line and the rear is a 24 millimeter white line. So I did that so that it would kind of make the car hopefully a little more um, oversteer you know, oversteer a little bit more so the back end will kick out, less understeer, less push going into the corners. So that's just kind of how I've, I've always driven, you know, pretty much rear wheel drive, fast rear wheel drive cars or all wheel drive cars. So, you know, I've always just wanted an all wheel drive car that would just kind of kick out a little bit. So it's really fun, uh, you, you know, going hot with these sway bars, keeps the car nice and level and it's very predictable. Um, also, it's very predictable, I think, with the uh, white line rear positive traction kit. I think that really firmed up that rear uh, subframe quite a bit, which really, really just helps you know where your tires are going to be on the road. It just helps you feel planted and like you know what the car is going to do. So, yeah, anyways, guys, um, the autocross video will be coming up soon. Like I said, uh, the sway bars, it's a great upgrade. I also did it with the Cardboy end links, front and rear. Um, and I mean, if you got the money, go for it because it is a great suspension mod. So, all right guys, we'll talk to you soon. Please like or subscribe my video. Um, I hope you guys like it and I'll keep more coming. See you guys.